Hello, and thank you for joining my tutorial today. What uh, I'm going to cover with you today is uh, a problem uh, that came up a little while ago. Is I have a desktop computer uh, that has a wireless connection uh, located on my kitchen island. Obviously, I don't want to run you know Category Five uh, Ethernet cable back to my router uh, or my switch. So, you know, I'm using the wireless connection off of the desktop. Uh, I also have an IP phone that I would like to connect and it does not have a wireless connection it, it needs a wired port but I still have the same dilemma is I don't want to run a physical cable so what I can do is I can actually connect a cable from my IP phone to that unused port that's on my desktop because I'm not using it for my internet I'm using the wireless connection so I can physically run a cable between those two ports bridge them together and then the IP phone will work uh, so what I'll do now is I'll kind of show you uh, that configuration is if you look here this is the back of my desktop computer and you'll see that my uh, my Ethernet port uh, is just an RJ45 port is currently not being used and then on my IP phone I have two ports so actually if I wanted to chain another device uh, to this uh, string of devices then I could do that uh, however, today I'm just going to connect the IP phone directly to the PC. So see, here you can see that I've inserted my Ethernet cable and basically I'm just, it's a straight through cable. Uh, you may need a data crossover depending on your devices. My devices are auto sensing. Uh, so I can just use the standard RJ45 between the two devices. Uh, what I'll do now is show you on my Windows 8 uh, operating system uh, how to bridge the ports together. In the upper right hand corner you can also see the display of my IP phone uh, so that you'll know once I've completed the bridge that the IP phone will actually connect. So as you can see I'm sele I am selected both my, uh, or actually I apologize, I enabled my Ethernet port here and now I'm going to select both my Ethernet port and my Wi-Fi port and once I do that I'm going to right click and say bridge connections. So here's my Ethernet port and my Wi-Fi port. Right click, bridge connections. And so the connections will now uh, basically join together. And now anything that my wired port has access to, uh, my uh, wire, or, I'm sorry, anything that my Wi-Fi port has access to, my wired port will have access to as well. Uh, you can see now that the bridge is complete, my phone has registered and I have 641 new messages. Uh, in a minute it'll drop off for a second, there you go, and it should come back. That's just uh, completing the registration process. Okay, so from that point forward, I now have uh, my IP phone registered uh, through my uh, desktop computer's wireless connection and I did not have to run a physical cable all the way across the room to my router or my switch. Uh, just to recap, you know, run the physical cable between the, the LAN port of the computer and the LAN port of the phone and configure the bridge connection on your Windows uh, 7 or 8 operating system and then you should have a good RJ45 port to use uh, just like you were plugging into an Ethernet switch. Well guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch my tutorial today. I hope it was useful. Uh, please leave comments and feedback uh, below because uh, I like to hear uh, what you guys think. And uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks a lot.